<laughs> this week, Sydney is in the midst of hosting the fourth annual Invictus Games. It's the week-long multi-sport competition for injured or disabled military personnel from right around the world. Yeah, there is an amazing story behind every man and woman who takes part in the Games. And our next guest is no exception, Gary Robinson. Welcome to the show. Good to see you, mate. Thanks for having me. Do you mind sharing a little bit about your story? Yeah, my story, on the 21st of June 2010, I was involved in a horrific Black Hawk helicopter crash in Afghanistan, killing three Australians and wounding, or killing one American also. Wow. I spent two and a half years in hospital going through rehab. Okay. It was quite, quite, quite broken up. And as we mentioned at the top of the show, the diagnosis is the doctor said you would never walk again. Exactly, yeah. 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 And here we are, the Invictus Games. So for those out there that don't know what that means, what yeah. are the Invictus Games? Invictus Games are for the serving and non-serving ex-military personnel or serving personnel. So anyone that's injured through the military can come and compete uh, in the Invictus Games. So cool. Yeah. So, so you were quite the competitor before your army career as well. It's probably been a, a saving thing for you too. I, th I believe the doctors and nurses entered you in the first games while you're still doing your recovery. You didn't know what was going on. <laughs> exactly. I was coming towards the end of my rehab rehabilitation stay in the, in the military. Yeah. And they had the application form filled out by the three sports I was going to um, apply for. Right. So um, they virtually said, look, what's, what would you like to do? And coming from a, a triathlon background, yep. swimming and cycling were my first, my first preference. Wow. And being a good uh, shooter in the military, so I used archery as my next best thing for, for competing. Archery as well, OK. Oh, very exciting. Now, all over the news, we know Harry and Megan are flying on in for the Invictus Games. He's been there for the past four games. What is it like seeing him around? Is he just kind of normal? I know that's crazy to say with a royal, but... Is he? He's very normal. He's very approachable, so he's very keen to get in and amongst the athletes. So you can talk to him like he's one of your mates. Uh. You have to drop all that provider that he's, he's royalty. He treats you like he's one of your mates. You can talk to him like a normal So you can say, I'm there. just mate, there's my mate Harry. Exactly. Yeah. And then when he came out for the, for the recon for, for the Sydney Games, I was swimming in the pool. And I, as I finished swimming, I looked up and I saw him standing there. I thought, wow. And he said, G'day Gary, how are you going? So you've got to know me quite well. This wow. is the thing though, it's not so much about the competition, it's the camaraderie, it's the empathy within everybody. How did it feel going in, in those first games? Uh, very emotional. I mean, all my sport and achievements is dedicated to the three guys that were killed in the crash. So I use them as my driving force and I talk to them every day in, in, my, in my mind. So they drive me on and, and keep me going. Mm, it's fascinating. Now, uh, what's going to be the strongest of your events? Uh, the archery must be sort of a strange one, I, I imagine. Yeah, archery is defi definitely will be up there. Yeah. Very Hunger that, Games, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Very, very, very Hunger Games. I think at the moment my cycling is my strongest event. Um, so all my effort and time goes into cycling and archery. So I think between those two sports, I'll be very competitive. Yeah. Do you have a message for everyone that's, um, I guess, watching at home? Yeah, my message would be just never give up. Never think that you're, you're, you're the worst off anyone else. There's always someone out there doing, doing it harder than you. So do, it, do the best you can be. Be yeah. the best you can be. Well, mate, let's hope you come away from this week with a swag of medals. And, and great to meet you in the flesh. We'll be cheering you on. Thank you very much.